think there may be some sort of celebration going on in Merrymore. Okay, Merrymore time. So we'll go back to that. But um, one thing I, I do kind of enjoy a little bit about these fights, because, you know, like, th even though there are, like, some pretty big ways to exploit these fights, making them, you know, not, you know, like the typical fights that you do in this game, um, even though that is the case, uh, the one thing I do kind of enjoy about these fights is it kind of reminds me a little bit of how the optional boss fights were kind of set up in Final Fantasy VI. Or Final Fantasy 3 on the SNES, since we didn't, you know, get the other Final Fantasies. But either way, it's Final Fantasy 6. Where it's just like, you know, the boss fights themselves seem pretty intimidating, but there's usually like just one, like, not necessarily a flaw, but there is like one thing you can take advantage of to basically make the fights a lot easier. And it's just kind of neat, like, looking at it from that perspective, because... It kind of makes them more puzzle-oriented than actual, like, you know, just grind until your max level, then take it down. And because, you know, both Mario RPG and Final Fantasy VI were, you know, RPGs on the Super Nintendo, it just kind of, you know, feels appropriate, you know? So, I've always liked that aspect anyway. Okay, so, can we not go through the back anymore? Oh, no, there we go. They can't stop me. They can't stop me. Okay. Guess we could have used this save point then. I just didn't remember where you did this fight. <laughs> Apparently it's right here. Oh my, another big cake. Looks tasty, huh? I love sweets. Hang on, though. It looks just like that cake from the wedding. You think it'll tack again? I hope not. Hmm. Don't those torts look tired? We have worked night and day to make the most delicious cake ever. You there. Why the silent treatment? Have you no pride in your work? Sorry, I know you don't want to hear this, but the cake is moving again. What's wrong? Come on, say something. So sorry, it's true. Zinzir, apologies. We must ask that you batter the cake into sub... Oh, well, okay, well, they did that fast. But for your thinking, he forgot to light the candles on this cake. Yeah, maybe it seems less weird if we light those candles. It's worth a try. Bad things will happen if all the candles are lit. Finish the fight before that happens. Yeah, so that's essentially what this fight is. You need to... I mean, it's pretty similar to the idea of the first fight, but obviously um, the cake is more powerful and the chefs will do everything they can to light it. And as you might expect, if the candles do get lit, it will be essentially another party wipe attack. But... There are things we can do. <laughs> um, sleepy time might be the way to go, honestly. I don't think anyway. So yeah, the cake obviously didn't fall asleep, but the chefs did, and that's really all that matters. have a lot of freaking health though. Oh, and look, it also has this nonsense. Okay. Oh, okay, I see what we have to do now. Um, oh yeah, and Peach is 
No, she's she's just sleeping, so we can we can probably put Gino back for there later. Um, it is annoying that again that they're asleep still, but I guess Mario should be waking up again. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh no! I didn't think about that. Okay, well, never mind then. Okay, I didn't get the timing on that, but that's okay. Um, I guess I can go ahead and just bring Bowser in temporarily. Scarecrow, eh? And they're up again. Okay, so this is where we need to kind of get things moving. Thankfully, Mario is at least awake, but we need to... Uh, no! I, I want to do that. I might as well bring you at least back. Oh, you're awake. Okay, good. You're awake again. Okay, well, let's do this again. back to sleep so they don't ignite the candles. I don't think, okay, yeah, jump was like the spell that was really good. Ow. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's especially not good. Um, that is really not good. Um, Yeah, I pretty much have to switch in a dead character. <laughs> I mean, at least we're doing a lot of damage, I guess. See, the cake's taking a lot of damage, too, which is also really helpful. Let's go ahead and group hug. Ow. Blizzard is not too bad. Yeah, it was for Bowser, clearly, but... <laughs> um, I'm just going to switch Bowser out, because I need to... Make sure these weirdos are asleep again. fun. And there we go. Cake has been defeated. Way to put the cake in its place. 
Yeah, good work. We all thought you should have this as a thanks. So we get the enduring brooch. Why, thank you, and may you have better luck with any cakes you bake in the future. We do our best. Only we would have to fight a cake not once, but twice. I never did get to taste it. I wish I could have tried it even a little piece. Hee <laughs> hee, I wondered about that too. Maybe we could go get them to deliver one for the castle. I don't know. I mean, eating a live cakes never seems like a great idea. Um, but yeah, we have the enduring brooch, which is actually an accessory. Um, a brooch that will prevent you from going down once per battle. So basically, it's, you know, it protects you from taking a death. But I wouldn't say it's really that useful because, I mean, obviously there's other ways to circumnavigate that. But still, that's essentially what you get from this. That's this reward, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. I think we have uh, three more left to do, so we're, we're, we're about done. Uh, so let's go back to Tadpole Pond. <clears throat> let's see what we got next. That pirate boss you met is raring to go again. A passionate fellow, isn't he? Okay, so pirate. That means Jonathan Jones. That's where we're going next. So I am going to use an interesting strat for this because, I mean, there's not much we can really do about it anyway. But um, let's go to the sunken ship, to the pirate base. See, we're actually right here. Now, there's no save point, unfortunately, which is a little annoying. Um, actually, maybe I should go to a different save point, then. Let's do this. Let's go to Seaside first. Again, I think if you fail the fight, you just get, like, it, it treats it like you just like it was a long cutscene or something, so you don't have to save. I just do this to be safe, because also items as well. Although I want to say that you get whatever items you lose, so it's really not a big deal. Um, so, this is also not the right place. I mean, it's the right place, just not the exact location. Okay. Uh, so for this fight, um, it is going to be a duel. And as you remember, the main duel was between Mario and Johnny Jones and everything. So... Um, we're going to need to be careful in this fight especially. So one thing you can do to like really make this easy is you can put on the lazy shell armor to really, really defend yourself. Which uh, I'm not crazy about doing this setup, but, you know, just to kind of show it off since we didn't really use the lazy armor throughout the playthrough anyway. But um, there, there is something interesting about this fight. And we'll find out what it is in just a minute. Avast, Mario. I've been waiting to see your mug around here again. Ever since our little duel, I've felt a whirlpool in my heart sucking all the joy away. This can't go on, matey. Who is Johnny without a fire in his belly? So I ask you, would you cross swords with me one more time? A tremendous duel, just the two of us. Without any items, even. What do you say? Let's set the sea to boiling. I'll pass. Aye, I suppose you do have a corker of a fight with that smithy creature ahead of you. Come again if you find your courage. I'll wait as long as it takes. Now, there's a reason why I said no, is I actually forgot to do this ahead of time. Uh, but um, also make sure that you put up um, Gino and Bowser as your supporting allies, because even though you can't use um, items or triple attacks... Um, you do get the ally buffs, so with this we'll get the action gauge, we'll get the attack up, the speed up, and the defense up. So that's why I wanted to make them uh, part of this before I did this. So let's try this again. <clears throat> Good fun, I knew you'd accept, Mario. Oh, I love how you act. <laughs> I love how actually they did that before. I didn't have to leave, but whatever. 
Now steal yourself, for here I come. Okay, so... That's basically what this fight amounts to. It's just... Dueling with Johnny Jones. Uh, oh, you can't actually even use the gauge, I guess. But yeah, Lazy Shell makes this fight pretty much trivial. The only thing you gotta look out for is the fact uh, that uh, since you are... Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, since you are using the Lazy Shell, your attack power will be significantly uh, lessened. See, so yeah, I probably could have not used the Lazy Shell armor and been fine. Now. He still has Vigor up, which is kind of annoying. He also has Get Tough, too. So a large part of this fight is just, like, knowing the timing. Because if, like, you manage to block all the attacks, like, you should be in good shape. There we go. Har, you got me. But never in my years have I fought a finer battle so fierce, so heated. Take this and remember the day our duel brought the fire back to my belly. So here we get the extra shiny stone. Now, you remember what the shiny stone did, so... <laughs> that gives you a hint of what that unlocks. I found that oak stone in the lowest depths of my ocean. It's proper that the victor of our duel should be its keeper. <laughs> I love standing on his head like that. Now I can be the pirate king. We're the king of the pirates. We can now find the One Piece. Okay, no. Um, let's uh, go back once again. I think we only have two fights left. And funnily enough, they're both in the same location. Same general location, so. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's do it, guys. Mario, do you ever stop by our, your dojo from time to time? It seems to me your students could use some hands-on training. Okay, well, that makes it easy to figure out. Go to Monstro Town. Hmm. Well, let's go back. Jagger, watch my example closely, and then match my technique. All right, now! No, no, don't strike with your arms. Strike with your whole body. Master Mario, we are training hard to master moves involving cooperation from one's allies. It's harder than we thought to stay in sync in the heat of combat. We can't seem to manage it no matter how hard we train. I'd appreciate if you showed us your triple moves as an example of how such cooperation is supposed to work. My apologies for imposing on you when you have so much of your own plate. We will continue to train on our own. Okay, well, I mainly just did this just to, again, um, party equal first. Um, we'll have... Um, you know, 
Okay, let's do this. Then let us spar. I wish to understand the true essence of triple moves, so I will reset your gauge. Now, show me your finest triple moves. So, yes, uh, basically what you have to do to win this fight is you just have to activate your triple move. That's really about it. Um, that, that's real, That's it. That's all I gotta say. So you gotta kind of build up your gauge a bit. Now, as you might expect, Jinx does hurt. As he always does. Sensei, please instruct me. Okay. And to keep in mind is that you can build that gauge up, not even... You don't necessarily even need a... Attacks to do that. You can also defend... Your timing is sloppy. You're wide open. And see, if you mess up, he does try to do an attack like that to, like, one-shot you. Thankfully, that didn't really matter much. Um, let's get Peach in. Just a group hug. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take out the lazy shell off of Mario. Did not mean to do that. be able to do this without bringing Peach back anyway. It sucks that I'm losing the uh, timing window because of the the resistance thing there. Either way, we almost got it. That's a triple move. I understand so clearly now. Thank you. You are as strong as I thought, Master. Thank you for showing us your incredible triple moves. You should have this. It has been passed through the generations in what was, until recently, the Jinx-style Jojo. So we got the teamwork band. Come, Jagger. Let us emulate the Master's example before we forget. And they're practicing. But yeah, there we go, and uh-oh. Well then, that door's back.